Now there's nothing like a new relationship to make you go into full blown crazy mode. Wait, you have other girls that are friends? Wait, is that too much interest too soon? I don't know, I just hate him so much right now, but does that mean that I love him? Hold up a sec. It is very possible that you are sabotaging every new relationship that you're in because you're afraid. You're afraid that he might not love you. You're afraid that you're coming on too strong, that you're not coming on strong enough. But before you give in to this fear, make sure you watch this video. Because the five tips I'm gonna teach you in this video right now may just be the difference between you marrying this guy or you living down the street is that weird cat lady. We don't want that. Keep watching. Hey there, my name is Adam LaDolce and I'm a head love strategist over here where we help single women successfully find a long lasting relationship and do it with a proven strategy. And if you like this video, please give it a like and also don't forget to subscribe and make sure you ring that bell because we have a lot of new content that's gonna be coming out over the next few weeks that you are not gonna wanna miss. And if you are single and you are ready to attract a long lasting relationship, make sure you head on over to loveapply.com or click the link right there below so that you can apply for your complimentary love strategy session with someone on my team. We are going to dive deep into your love life and apply what we call the seven little love steps to your love life and ultimately we can see whether or not you're fit for our love coaching program called Love Accelerator. Now I've seen it before, when my clients get to what we call little love step number six, which means you are now in a healthy, committed relationship with clear boundaries set, what tends to happen is we start subconsciously sabotaging the relationship. So here are five Five tips to help you keep your head straight as you're adjusting to this new relationship. Tip number one is if the guy is treating you really well, be cautious, but also be optimistic. I know it can be really hard when your past relationships haven't worked out and when you've been burned so many times, it can be very difficult to go into a new relationships with eyes wide open and expecting a different result this time. But if a guy is actually genuinely treating you well and he's showing up for the relationship, you need to be receptive to that. And we believe in being cautiously optimistic. Allow enough time for him to really prove himself to you and we believe in consistency over time. If he's being consistent in his effort and his interest in you and it's over a long enough period of time, well, it's at that time that you need to start opening your heart to him and trusting him and realize that he is genuinely interested in you. Tip number two is you need to realize that there is a cool down period that tends to happen when you are in a new committed relationship. Sometimes when you go from like the early phases of dating, you're just talking to the guy, and then you're suddenly now in a committed exclusive relationship, sometimes he starts to focus his energy elsewhere because he needs to go back to his work or he needs to go back to his other priorities. And it doesn't necessarily mean there's a problem with the relationship. It's just now he's feeling secure and he's feeling very happy with what he has. So now he needs to go back to the other problems he has in his life and start fixing those. And we call this the cool down period because when you go from that honeymoon phase to now just everyday life, being in a relationship together, it can feel like the relationship is really cooling off a bit. But it's not, it's just that you're adjusting to normal life together. Tip number three is that you need to remember that he's not perfect and you definitely aren't either. You need to keep your head straight and remember that you are going to learn things about this man that you do not like. And there are gonna be flaws not only in him but also in the relationship because humans are just innately flawed beings. We all have our own flaws. And when you put two of us together, well, that sometimes creates flaws in a relationship. And that is okay, so long as there aren't deep fundamental issues in the relationship. Tip number four is to set very clear boundaries early on in the relationship. Because if you don't set those boundaries early on, it's hard to set them later. I get it, maybe you're trying to be like the cool new girlfriend who wants him to go off and do whatever it is that he wants to do whenever he wants to do it, but I urge you, if he's really pushing the boundaries a bit to have conversations early on that might be a little bit uncomfortable where you need to make it clear that you are in a relationship now and this is how things are gonna work moving forward. And finally, tip number five is to just be patient. So many people, when they get in new relationships, they just wanna push things forward so quickly and they feel like if things aren't progressing forward, then there's a problem. But the reality is that 
it really takes at least a year of getting to know someone before you really know them on a very deep level. And this is why I don't recommend that you do anything that you can't go back on. Of course, having children together or getting married even within the first year. Take that time to really get to know each other and see whether or not this thing's a fit. So I wanna hear from you in the comments below. Which of these tips do you need to start applying to your next relationship? Leave a comment and let me know. And if you are ready to attract that healthy, long-lasting relationship, then make sure you head on over to loveapply.com or you can click the link right there below so you can speak to one of my love strategists about Love Accelerator Coaching. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you, you sexy single lady, next week. Bye-bye.